It's Nick and Tom. Oh, I would really like to play this two players. See, I don't know why Konami doesn't put this on the NES app on the Switch. This would be perfect. This would be the perfect game for that. And it's not an, it's not an IP that they don't have. Like, I don't think that they, this is a, a licensed game, right? Oh, I've played the arcade version. This, this is a port of the arcade version. Um, it's a pretty fun game. King Scorch. Ah, uh, we can skip the story. I think the sprite of, uh, the snowman are kind of scary looking, right? They look like skeletons. Like, they don't look like a snowman. I kind of like Bubble Bobble. Out, they turn into items. I wish I could shoot up. No. Oh, little Samson. Have you heard of that one? Yeah, little Samson is kind of uh, up there with Panic Restaurant as one of those games that. People didn't know, like at least me, I didn't know about that game growing up. And then it became notorious within the retro scene. Um, once uh, YouTube became big and then everyone was like, Oh, look at this game, this game's awesome. And then all of a sudden it became super expensive. Let me get that cake. Yeah, I think uh, Pat the NES Punk, um, maybe he was the one that made it um, known, but I have heard him talk about it. Also, Mr. Gimmick, which I don't think is on here, but Mr. Gimmick is another one that um, is a really good game. That was Mr. Gimmick was not released in the US, it was Japan and Europe only. I think it was like toward the NES, the end of the NES cycle. Maybe that's why it wasn't released here. I'll keep going until I die and then I'll, I'll change games. And yeah, th that's the list. Thank you, Stitched, for um, doing that command. And if anyone has a game that they would like to um, check out, because uh, before I started streaming, I was checking out some of these games, but I haven't checked out all of them. There's something about the snowman sprite that just creeps me out. I, I don't like the sprite. It just looks kind of like creep. It just looks really creepy. And what are these enemies? Like little little demon things. I don't know. Thank you. 
No! Okay, okay, I have two more lives. Um, I feel like this game is more fun to players. I wonder, like, if there's any kind of mechanic. Like, especially that mechanic where when you throw the uh, snowball, it can catch the, the other player. I'm sure that's fun. He was a character from some other in a Nintendo game, I think. Um, what, what game would that be? It doesn't look that familiar to me. But, uh... Uh-oh, it's stuck in that. Boss! Woohoo! Oh, uh, what the heck is that thing? Nightmare fuel. So I know that I have to turn enemies into snowballs and then hit them. Oh, that didn't hit them. Oh no. The walrus from Kirby. Hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah, if you put like a mustache on him. And you give him like a... What weapon did he use? Like a mallet? Like a hammer? I'm not sure how to fight him because every time I hit him with a snowball, it just goes pink. I assume that means it's not hitting him. Yeah, he does look like a gremlin. Anyone have any suggestions on how to defeat this guy? Oh, I did it. Yeah, there was no hit detection there, so I didn't know if I was hitting him. Yay. Oh, I love slot machines. Oh. Yay, they spell congratulations correctly. Shocking. You know, these NES games, they were always spelling that word wrong. Oh. Oh. Was that like a hidden bonus that I found? Yeah, hypothermia. Yeah, you noticed that? He just kind of like crouched down and just turned all blue. And I'm like, that's kind of creepy. It's like, and he froze to death. Wow, I got uh, three one Fs in a row. Oh, and I skipped. Okay, so I found like a little weird warp bonus thing. That's cool. What was that? He, he looked like he didn't like that. <laughs> he, was, he, he made a, an, an interesting expression. Oh, I think that powered up my, uh, my shots here. They look bigger. I think I got game over. Oh, I don't know how I got two extra lives, but okay. Oh, I can like fly. This is weird. So 
So yeah, I, I haven't put this much time into this game before. I played it a little bit. Did you know this game was also on the Virtual Boy? At least I remember it being on the Virtual Boy. Maybe I'm wrong, but I could swear I remember this being on the Virtual Boy as well. I think, yeah, I think this game is hacked. You see how I'm just, I'm just getting infinite lives? So, it, I think this is like a hacked version, which I, I don't mind. You want to hack and give me extra lives? I will take it. What the hell is that guy? Oh no. 